Kafka implementation in .NET Core. Welcome to Coding Friday, guys. And I am Chandra Shwariani. So I'll be explaining how we can implement the Kafka in a in a .NET Core application. So before I you know start the practical implementation, uh, let's uh, see uh, what exactly our requirement. And it is important so that you can align uh, uh, your requirement as well with this video. So my requirement is just to pass the data from one microservice to another microservice now for that i'll be uh, making use of this uh, uh, kafka one so you might ask that kafka is the only way to achieve this why i'm uh, into this kafka one so i'll tell you uh, kafka is not the only one there are other mechanism as well with which you can achieve the same requirement one of them is uh, rabbitmq you can do uh, the communication between microservices just have to create the local uh, server of rabbitmq you could make use of the Azure Service Bus as well. And for the even Azure Service Bus, I created a video a few months ago in what I have practically explained after creating the service bus in the Azure, um, getting after creating the topics, how the data is uh, you know being passed from one to another one. So there are other things as well. In today's tutorial, I'll focus on the Kafka one. So Kafka coding is a bit easy in a .NET. Uh, that that is not any rocket science. But the configuration I found it a bit tricky because you know I had to download uh, lots of stuff from different websites and just to make it easy, I you know um, I'll be I'll be keeping all these things at one place. I'll be sharing each and every link which you require uh, in order to. Uh, implement this requirement so for this i have already listed down a few of the things which you need so the first thing you need the kafka now before kafka you need a zookeeper zoo, zoo keeper. so zookeeper i'm not going to the detail because we never go in theoretical detail we just focus on the practical implementation zookeeper is something which kafka will make use of internally i don't know how but yes so uh, it needs a zookeeper it needs the kafka then uh, oracle you might need you actually need and then 7-zip also you need to extract those things. So don't worry about the links. I will uh, be providing those into the YouTube description, uh, uh, video description. One thing what I want from you guys, just download the same version what I am downloading right now. Because uh, if you do not follow the same version, then it they might create an issue and it is really really difficult to debug that issue in such sort of you know configurations where one is sending, another one is receiving. That's quite complex. But by the way, I'll be using the latest one, uh, uh, the versions. So this is the Kafka one. Download this, uh, uh, the setup and install. This is a Zookeeper at first, then Kafka, then uh, this Oracle one as well, and then 7-zip you will be needing to extract them. Once you download uh, them, uh, you will have the similar folders like I have. So I have uh, Kafka 2.4.1, and uh, for Zookeeper, I have this uh, 3.5.7. So now i should be good to go to the third step uh, sorry second step the second step is now run the commands so the for the commands these are the commands what are the commands why why why, why we are the commands we'll focus on again uh, the implementation but just to give you an idea kafka will make use of two things one is the consumer and other one is the producer rather i should say one is the producer and the other one is the consumer producer will have to produce some message and the consumer has to act as an active listener all the time so anything which is uh, which is which is coming uh, into his area its area he jumps and gets the data so it needs the producer it needs the consumer and uh, they need a topic as well that's an important thing so these are the commands to start so first thing you are doing at the locally, right? So first thing you have to run the servers. So let's run first of all our Zookeeper server. And to run this, go to this bin folder and double click on this. So it is doing something which which is quite scary, but I think it has started to started the Zookeeper. Now the second step is uh, you start the server of Kafka. So the Kafka one, I have this commands. So Kafka start, go to this 2.2 and open the command prompt, paste this and should you, should you just hit the enter and after the enter, it will again do some sort of things difficult to understand, but we are assuming that it has started the Kafka server. Now after the Kafka server, the third thing which you should do, you should create the topic and to create the topic uh, it is doing still doing something go to this windows folder click on this command button and paste it here and name it your uh, topic name maybe cf coding friday 
so 10 topic cf create this we are ordering you okay <laughs> it has uh, created uh, so we are requesting you not to not ordering you so after this you have to run the uh, server uh, run the server so first at first we'll run the producer one so go to the windows once again open your command prompt and uh, run this command and you have to provide the same topic name and the topic name was topic name is just a second let me paste it uh, uh, getting some errors maybe i can update here cf and you have to close this maybe just to avoid any errors go to cmd once again i cannot afford any risk enter this our producer should be ready say it yeah, ready they never say they are ready but actually they they becomes ready and after that uh, you will have to start let me update my topic na name here so that it becomes easy so copy this and go to windows once again go to the cmd and paste it here let's enter now your producer should be ready so you started your uh, zookeeper you started your kafka you created the topic you have started the producer you started the consumer now you should be good to see the magic and the magic is that if i send the data from this uh can you go down a bit okay now if i send the data from here i should receive in the in the consumer okay we have the data we have the data that means we have successfully configured the system to start with the implementation now uh, we have completed our uh, course uh, 70 percent of uh, course now we just have to complete this via dot net this is the dot net core microservice uh, api one i have added you could see that app setting dot json and startup already added there was a, a web uh, web controller as well weather controller was there but we don't need i have deleted them so the first thing is First microservice mode you will create the producer and to create the producer let's follow the steps steps are install the nuget package and for that just go to your edit touch file that's the other way although you could do from the nuget one as well and again 1.4.0 is the latest one at the time while i'm recording this video so kafka is installed and and after this uh, come back to this app setting and the next step says uh, this is your producer settings paste it here okay okay sorry is it here so both step server is something which is exactly has to be the same one which you have mentioned here 9092 so the same server we'll be using and there are other parameters of as well of this producer we'll look into this one by one but the most important and the most of the time you make use of this bootstrap uh, strap servers so after this uh, you have to configure in the startup file so in the startup file uh, again go back to your microservice and go to the startup file and before this add control paste it here press control dot so that you can import the, okay, this kafka and this is saying producer this is your producer and what are the settings settings are the local host url so you are done so you have uh, entered in the startup now the third thing is you have to create the controller and again just to save the time i already have the controller but don't worry about that i already have because it is the simplest ever controller you would see in a real environment so it is the api controller name is producer controller and it has one method which is the send one all the name says get but it just ignore and and uh, it is expecting the topic name and some dummy data so in real scenario let's say you have an uh, x microservice which is you know need to pass the complex data into the another microservice so you have to make use of this serialized object you cannot directly pass the data so uh, just serialize this and pass this and that's the produce uh, a sync method and uh, we are we'll have to wait until it completes its uh, request or sends the data and uh, yeah that's 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 all we have to do just run this one already uh, you have the servers it is just you are asking producer to send the data 
Now, if I just copy the URL, rather I will just copy the number and come back to this my postman and paste it here. Oh, it was same. So I'm just calling this with the postman. You can call it from UI or anywhere, but this is the simplest one. And this is the ID and the name, two parameters only in the employee controller. And uh, yeah, so name uh, test, we can do this. Uh, maybe coding Friday. By the way, have you subscribed to Coding Friday channel? You should. So API and the topic name. What was our topic name? Our topic name was temp topic CF. So, you know, I created this demo before I start the recording just to make sure everything works fine. That's why I created that temp topic. I always honest with everyone. So uh, now click on this send button. Now it should work. The way it was working for me a few minutes ago uh, i forget to hit the breakpoint uh, i can hit once again so we have the breakpoint here it has now serialized the employee data and after this uh, we are making use of this post async and the data will be flushed after 10 milliseconds and returns true that's the static one now you can see in the producer one uh, uh, sorry in the consumer one in the consumer one we are uh, getting the data are we getting the data no we are not getting the data let's check our uh, consumer at first uh, sorry this is your consumer okay we are getting the data i got confused sorry about that just ignore id one name coding friday so this is the data which we are sending from the which we were sending from the now dot net core so now you have to replace this consumer this consumer which we have a kafka consumer with the dotnet one you know we have just for the test sake we created that uh, consumer in the producer in the kafka now we'll create in the dotnet so after this uh, you have to create another microservice so i'll uh, open this one and create a new project and after this uh, let's say name it consumer ms and uh, click on this create button so now you would see after some time when he shows you it it sometimes takes time i mean i don't know why okay now you would see that uh, i created the console app i'll i'll come to this why i created the console app but just focus what i'm doing right now this is again the program uh, program file and uh, what i'm going to do i'll copy this uh, code and paste it as it is and uh, you remember that i didn't copy this c and after this uh, oh, oh one more thing which is now you guessed it correctly i have to import the package as well so the package has to be the same one which we imported here in the in the microservice one go to this edit project file and uh, copy this package and uh, paste it here you do not need the other one which was required for the serialized one and what is happening here okay you have the config uh, dot kafka now after this you should be good uh, with this consumer config just uh, press the control dot and it is saying, saying show potential sorry now uh, provide the same topic name uh, which you were uh, using m topic cf and the same you have to provide here so the this is your consumer builder and that was your producer builder uh, producer builder now i am going to run the application and to see uh, oh it is saying the builders what i have done wrong nobody told me you all were watching this but nobody told me anyway okay so now consumer is running let's hit on the postman click on the send button and let's see consumer is seriously working or just can i remove this debugger now maybe i can use Control shift f9 press f5 shortcuts are real shortcuts okay we have the data great we have the data now you can see we are getting the data in the kafka console consumer as well as the console application which we created now if we just modify or write anything is this still working press on enter and maybe we can change the id as well click on this send and uh, 
we have 200 okay and we have the data is still working yes it is so this was the way how you can you can configure uh, the kafka with the dot net core application the only change which would be required by you uh, that you uh, the you you must have noticed that i have created the console app in the in for the uh, consumer one and that was why i created because the uh, ms one um, requires a lots of configuration i'll complete that but in a in a next video for this i just wanted to have the basic idea uh, how you can configure and create the consumer and uh, the producer one so in the next one i'll create the consumer microservice as well because that microservice will have to uh, make use of the background services you know that there is something has to be run up and running a 24 cross 7 so that it can uh, uh, get the data so i'll make use of that um, background service and create the ms but even uh, they should be good as of now for the for the basic one so thank you for watching this video i would uh, expect from you guys to subscribe my channel because the video uh, the, the subscribers are not uh, oh actually i'm looking for the closing the video but i cannot find uh, this uh, as of now where it is okay so uh, sorry about that um, uh, if you have any query or a comment you can directly ping me on uh, on on a, on a youtube description or else you can always uh, ping me on skype or linkedin or insta where you feel like comfortable thank you for watching this video thank you for being at coding friday happy day